We begin with Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold, who joins us live from a voting location in Saratoga Springs. Chris, how are things looking there? Well, good evening, Bob and Kelly. I could tell you that since this polling location opened up at the LDS Church in Saratoga Springs this morning, they really haven't seen much of a lull in foot traffic. I'm going to step out so you can take a look behind me right now. They say here, uh, poll workers, that is, that they've had 1,036 people come through so far today to cast their vote. They say about 25 to 30 people lined up when they opened up this morning. And as you can see here, that traffic has just continued throughout the day and into the evening. It's why the poll technician at this location, Sheila Curtis says they've had to have additional equipment brought in to meet that demand. She tells me they had two extra poll pads, which Curtis says they had some family friends come in and run, as well as bringing in two more poll booths for voters to use. I know the county's kind of looked at possibly bringing us more, um, but right now we've, we've kind of got it smooth and working. I think it's grown, the area, Eagle Mountain, Saratoga Springs, and so more people, um, we've got more people moving in, and so provisional ballots, so we have to register them. Well, Curtis says they've had so many people come in that they've even ran out of stickers for those who've cast their vote here today. But overall, Josh Daniels, the Utah County Clerk, says additional check-in stations and ballot printers were brought out to other locations like American Fork to meet that demand. Now, in the past hour, Daniels tells me there have not been any problems or complications at locations across Utah County. Now, he says they're anticipating a surge of people to come in and vote beginning around 530 or 6 p.m. tonight. And he says they're working to make sure they don't have any lines during that time that exceed a 45 minute wait. Now polls will close at 8 p.m. tonight, but locations like here in Saratoga Springs, they will not turn any people away that are in line at that time and allow them to cast their vote here in the midterm election. Live in Saratoga Springs, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.